Because if you understand what I'm going to share with you next, this is such an important point. Because I think a lot of people lose the posture. They lose posture in showing the plan because somehow they feel they don't have something to offer to that person. Oh, they were tight financially and I didn't think I had anything, or they were already doing real good, so I didn't think I had anything to offer. Well, let's look at this. Since you've been on the team, so this, is, this is a pretty good uh, cross-section of the team. Since you've been on the team, have you asked any better questions on the spiritual side? Things like, who am I? What's my purpose? Where am I going? Has anybody asked better questions since you've been part of the team? So, would we say, now again, the team's not a church. I mean, all this is, is to create questions and get you thinking, get you reading, and go find a good church somewhere. But would you say that that would be a yes? Would be comfortable doing that? Okay, so here we go. We've already got one. We're, boy, we're tied with the others. Socially. Socially. Everybody in this room, because you signed an application, came to this meeting... You have an opportunity to go hang out at a multimillionaire's house on August 23rd for a full day of fun with some of the most fun-loving. I mean, this, this team is a great. I mean, it was. This has been a fun day, hasn't it? It's been fun. I mean, we're learning great stuff. This is this is us at work. I mean, this is full bore. We're working hard here. Can you imagine when we're at play? I mean, it's going to be a good time. And we've had paintball. I mean, we do so many great things socially. It's a great time. I love uh, the association uh, with the team. So would we, since you've been part of the team, would you say that you have more meaningful relationships where people love, serve, and sacrifice for one another? Would you say we can put a yes in that? So let's put a yes there. Politically, all of us, all of us as human beings, we're political in the sense that we got to have some structure. How do we make decisions? Would you say that since you've been part of the team, that you realize that you have an opportunity totally based on your performance to climb as far or as not far, whatever you want to do, we're going to love you where you're at. If you never want to go past star 100, I mean, uh, uh, star 1,000, if that's what you want, if you want to set up a couple customers, that's it, fantastic. It's whatever you want, because what we want is for you to be happy. We want you to get, uh, when you come into the team, we want to figure out what it is you want and make sure that we help you get that. Would you say politically that you're in an environment where you can grow to as far as you want to go based upon your own dreams and goals, right? So we put a yes there. Mentally, here's some questions I'd ask mentally. <clears throat> Am I challenged mentally? Am I engaged in a meaningful way? Am I growing and changing? Do I think and examine myself? Do I learn from others that are growing and changing? Do I read and listen daily? How many people, since you've been involved with the team, mentally are growing and changing more than you did before you were part of the team? Okay? All right. So we've got, now we've gone through four areas, and you are four for four. Now let's go to economic, and this is the big one, because I am so sick and tired of allowing other people who are not part of the team to define our team. Here's what they do. Let me show the illogic of what they do. <clears throat> They'll go take people like uh, Chris Brady or Tim Marks and say, Chris Brady and Tim Marks, they're black diamonds. Why, they're making over a million dollars a year. They're just materialistic. They're materialistic, economic. All they care about is economics. They just care about their money. They're, they're all over there being happy with all that money in those nice places. Tim's got that awesome house down in Florida, and I don't. You know, that type of attitude. I don't like him because he has something I don't have. Even though they could have the same thing if they were willing to do the same work. They'll criticize this side for being materialistic. All they care about is money. But then they turn around and say, 
well, Tim's and Chris and Orrin or whatever, they're bad people because not everybody on their team's rich like they are. I'm like, you can't have both sides of the argument here. On one side, they say, if you make money, you're bad because you make money. On the other side, it's a bad business because not everybody's making money. Are you following this? If money's not a big deal, why are you saying it's a bad business if not everybody's making money? We must be real holy because we're doing a good job of keeping everybody down. The truth of the matter is neither one's right. If the guys over here, if all they cared about money, they wouldn't have never made the money. What happened is they fell in love with the process of serving, making a difference, mentally growing, spiritually growing, all the other things, and the economic happens when you get the other areas right. That's the truth. And the truth on this side is just because you're not a millionaire yet doesn't mean you're not successful. When you get started, if you go through and look at this, let me put, I'm going to put a no here. I'm going to say that, man, I've been in it for a year and I'm barely breaking even. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say you're not breaking even. Man, I'm investing in, uh, um, uh, I'm investing in my training, and I'm uh, uh, using the products, and I'm not even breaking even. Financially, I'm not ahead from where I was before. Well, let's look at the whole package. Because if you only define your business in economics, you're only defining you as 20% human. Because there's five areas you need to look at. If you would look at this person, let me take out conventional business owner, let's just compare the job with your Mana V team. In your job, before no, now yes, success. In social, before no, now yes, success. In political, before no, now yes, success. In mental, before no, now yes, success. Economic, yes, I'm making money, no, I'm not. It's not that you're a failure yet, you're just not successful yet. You're in the process. We have a two to five year plan. You've been in for a year. You've been in for two years. Even if you've been in five years, if that's not successful, sometimes maybe they weren't trying to be successful in that area. And now let me give you an example. There's a person in the audience here that's probably worth around 20 some million dollars. They are <clears throat> retirement age, owned a big company, sold the company, have a lot of money. Financially, they don't need to be in this business. Yet they love this business, they show up to everything, had surgery, came down to the major function, called just to make sure that he wouldn't be an inconvenience after surgery, but couldn't stand the thought of missing Louisville. Why did he do that? Because he's been in a couple years and he's really not making that much money. He must be a failure. Or, when you look at the human being as an overall, he's gone from in the one area where he had a lot of success, but maybe not the yeses that he wanted in other areas, to where he was 20% successful over here, very successful financially, to where he's 80% successful over here, and the financial's not over yet, unless you quit. If someone would say that 20% complete is success, and the 80% complete is failure, I'm confused. <laughs> the fact of the matter is that everybody that you ever showed the plan to, if they listened to one CD, you made an impact.